Hello guys, I'm Foxy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hammer in a township tale. There are two things you need to make a hammer. A hammer head and a handle. It doesn't matter what you start with. We'll go with the handle here in the carpentry workshop. A recipe in this book will tell us what we need. Let's find the handle we need. It's on the seventh page. List means six log wedges. Some items require more, 12 or 18. Where do you find wood? You may chop trees, find log wedges in chests, community boxes or in the orb throughout the town. How do they get there? The players leave them. You may consider to do it in the future too. We tear the page off and put it on the chisel deck. Now pull the chisel deck handle to the wall. We need just the usual wood, it's oak. Here it is, we take 6 log wedges, take one piece of wood at a time and place it anywhere on the table until there are 6 of them. We need a hammer, for now we will use a primitive one, crafted with a stick and a stone, and a chisel, put in the case. Now we can start woodworking. Place the flint on any part of the blue glow and hit it with the hammer. You hear this sound if it's right. Be accurate and not hit other parts, or it will break and you will have to redo everything. Hit until the blue part breaks and move to another piece. To access the lower parts better, pull the lever. When there is no blow left, you do the same in no particular order. And now it's almost finished. Some last hits and ta-da! Now we have a handle. We don't leave the tools laying around. Put them on a shelf. Let's go to the smithy now to make a hammerhead. Here we are! These are the molders where we can find different blacksmith molds. Use the rope to see more pieces. Here it is, the hammerhead we need. Let's read it. The first is a visual of the product, and the second is how many ingots of metal are required. We need three ingots. We'll use copper as it's the most easily found metal. Where do you find it? Copper ore can be obtained by mining copper veins in quarry, mines, or forest caves, as well as by killing fierce superabundance at the mentioned location. Copper ore and ingots can also be either in the orbs throughout the town or found in community boxes. The number on the top is how many pieces are in the box. The one below is how many you may take right now. Need more? Come back the next in-game day. Three copper ore can be smelted to get one copper ingot. So we will take nine copper ore and make three copper ingots. Firstly, we check if there is enough coal. Usually there is. If no, check the community boxes near the smithy. Otherwise, coal can be obtained by mining in the same way as copper. Now back to the smelting. At the smithy we go to the furnace, open the hatch, put all the ore needed, close. When the fire sign is white, it means it's working. If not, check up here. Someone may have left the metal. Then pull the lever and they will go here. Let's go to the other side of the smeltery and see if it's ready. When you do much more ingots, you may use bellows to make it work faster. But it's not required now, they are already done. We grab and hold to take all the ingots at once. Now let's take that blacksmith mold we need. We place it on the smeltery, take our ingots, put them in, close, and wait. Ta-da! The hammerhead is ready, you don't need to forge it. Don't leave the mess, put the mold back. To find the place, put the mold inside. You need the sound to appear, or it won't go there. Yep, this one. The final part. Grab your handle with one hand and the hammerhead with another. You see the glow? You may grab them together. Place them close and turn until you see the blue glow and release the head. Ta-da! The hammer is ready. Hammers from different metals can have different applications. The golden ones are best for crafting backpacks, for example. They don't break leather easily. More durable ones, like red iron, are better for chiseling. That's all I wanted to show you today. Anything to add or ask, welcome to the comments. Thank you for watching! If the video was helpful, please press like and subscribe. You can find more videos about a township tale on my channel. 